welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Aline. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, um, I share ko sa inyo yung mga new products ng Caroline. So, ito sila. Got here this one. Medyo, madami. This one. Okay, so um, actually three weeks ago na nung nilulis to nila Caroline. So, meron ditong multi-pot. Itong tatlo multi pot so I got the three shades and then I got here yung Caroline uh, Diamond Dream Highlighter so for this one I only got one shade and then itong um, Caroline Glow Getter nila so for this one we only have one shade na available or ni release ng Caroline so before we proceed to the video um, if hindi ka pa nakapag subscribe sa aking channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and the bell notification beside it in order for you to get notified whenever I have new uploads. And please also follow me to my social media accounts. I'll be providing all the links down below. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have uh, a foundation sa face ko. I have a um I already have my kilay as well. Let's start with let's start with this um multi pots from Caroline. So, ito yung pinaka mismong product niya. So, ito yung mismong product ng Caroline. I mean, ito yung mismong um packaging ng multi pot. So, very minimalist lang siya. Um medyo um cream white lang siya and then it says here Caroline multi pot. And then sa likod, makikita mo dito yung uh, shade, shade name. And it says here that it's imported and distributed by Everbilana Cosmetics Incorporation. And meron din dito, um, it says here that it's cruelty free and it's paraben free. And then it's 24 months from, the expiration will be 24 months from the date of opening. And then meron din dito, Manufacture date, which is May 2019, and um, gram um, net weight neto is 2.2 grams. So this one, it, uh, this one costs 165 pesos sa Lazada. So I just ordered it from Lazada. All this Caroline uh, products. So pag binuksan mo siya, eto agad siya. I'm sorry, kasi naswatch ko na to. So ayan. Ganyan siya pagka binuksan mo. And then, let's proceed to swatches. So, I'll be using this first kasi cream product to. So, I already applied my um, cream, uh, my liquid foundation and then my concealer. So, I'll be swatching this first. So, the first one na isa swatch ko is itong Magic Spell. There you go. And then the next one that I'll be swatching is Abracadabra. So brang nice neto. I mean, yung formula niya, it's very um, creamy. Hindi siya dry. Hindi siya matigas pagka isa swirl mo yung fingers mo from the ano, hindi siya dry. And then the last one is Head Over Heels. So this one, yung magic spell, meron siya, uh, medyo, ano siya, may pagka peach, and then this one may pagka a cherry red yung color, and then this one is parang may pagka red brown, or to, parang siya toasted red, something like that. Okay, so ang iya ang iya apply ko sa cheeks ko would be um etong peachy na color. There you go. So this is how um, ma this is how magic spell 
looks like and my cheeks. So, so far, it's very blendable and it's very pigmented. So, if you'll see, hindi siya patchy sa face. So, zoom in natin ang contact. Hold on. May tumatawa. Going back, if you'll notice, hindi siya patchy at all. So, very blendable yung, um, yung formula. And, pagka nilagay mo siya, hindi siya nag-sustain agad. And, it's very buildable as well. So, pwede mo siyang kontian lang. And then, if you're not satisfied with the color um, pay off sa face mo, pwede mo siyang i-build up para ma-achieve mo yung color na gusto mo. So, so far, this, is, this one is good to me. And then, yung since multi-pot to, product could be used sa cheeks, sa lips, and sa eyes. When, wherever you want to use this, good to, good to use siya. I'll be using this um, I'll be using the Abracadabra on my lids naman. There you go. Here's how Abracadabra looks like in my eyes. Oo nga pala, bef um, before ko makalimutan, yung finish nga is actually powder finish. So, hindi siya tacky after mag-set. So, hindi siya malagkit. For the lips, I'll be using the, the shade Head Over Heels. Warning lang, meron, warning talaga, a disclaimer lang, medyo dry yung lips ko ngayon. I actually applied kanina na, um, ng Vaseline na lip balm. Pero medyo I dry pa rin siya. So, I wouldn't take it to the product if mag, ano siya sa, if ma, ano yung, if medyo hindi maganda yung kakalabasan. So, here's how head over heels on my lips. I'll be using it on my lips rather. Here's how head over heels looks like when applied on the lips. So, so far, it's not drying. It's not drying and hindi siya, di ba dry yung lips ko? Sabi ko kanina, hindi siya nag, nagkikling dun sa dry patches ng lips ko. And it's very blendable as well sa lips. Tsaka yung scent neto, amoy siya ano? Amoy siya candy, pero hindi siya yung sobrang, sobrang, sobrang um, amoy candy. Medyo minimal lang siya, but then the scent is still there and ma mabango siya. Hindi siya katulad ng iba na kapag in-apply mo, yung parang makakain mo na yung scent niya. It's not like that. Uh, eto, medyo minimal lang yung color, but I mean yung scent, but it's still there. So, there you go. So, there you have it for the Multipod uh, Caroline product. Now, let's proceed to um, the Caroline uh, Diamond Dream Highlighter. So, it looks like this. So, very simple lang din siya and very minimalist. Very um, basic lang ng packaging niya. So, it says here, a Caroline Diamond Dream Highlighter. And then, at the back, um, meron dito nakalagay kung ano yung shade niya. And then it says here that expiration date will be 24 months from the date of opening. And then yung net weight niya is 2.5 grams. It says here that it's paraben, paraben free. Lahat ng products nila are paraben free, cruelty free, and yun lang ang alam ko. Okay, so now ito yung pinaka ganito siya sa loob. Na swatch ko na din to actually. Pero uh, maganda yung loob niya kasi meron siyang parang naka-emboss na crystallized na design sa loob. And then, med ang color, 
Meron silang three available colors nito. Itong Glazed Glory. Tapos meron pang dalawa na ang tone niya is yung isa tricolor and then the other one is parang medyo gold. Ito naman, may pagka-champagne naman tong uh, Glazed Glory. So, ito lang yung kinuha ko kasi well, maging practical tayo. Ito lang naman kasi yung sa tingin ko magagamit ko talaga ng madalas. Kasi ito yung medyo uh, bet ko na highlighter. Mga ganitong kulay yung bet ko na highlighter. So, let's proceed on the swatches. So, yung feeling niya, medyo buttery. Hindi, hindi siya drying eh. Hindi siya dry. Medyo buttery yung ano niya. Yung feeling. And then, ito yung swatch niya. There you go. So, the pig, hindi siya ganun ka-pigmented. If mapapansin mo, it's different from yung sa Caroline na latest lay palette. That one, it's very pigmented. Pero, this one, not really. Okay, so, let's proceed on the glow, uh, Caroline Glow Getter Contour Blush and Highlight. So, the packaging looks like this. So, very minimal lang niya. Meron lang siya dyan nakalagay na Caroline Glow Getter um, Contour Blush and then Highlight. So, very minimal lang yung packaging niya. Very basic din. And then, when you open it, ganito yung pinaka... Um, product is the When it comes to the packaging ng pinaka product itself, it's very sturdy. Um, the, um, nasa plastic lang siya. And it says here, again, kung ano yung nasa labas, nung, kung ano yung nasa karton, yun lang din yung nandito. And then at the back, makikita mo dyan yung ingredients. It, it has the ingredients ng contour, blush, and highlight. So, it says here that it's cruelty-free and it's paraben-free as well. And then, it's also 24 months of expire. Uh, it will expire 24 months from the date of opening. It looks like that. So, very promising yung color niya. It, um, for me, the color looks very nice. The shade range is very nice. This one will work on universal skin tone. Para sa akin, ha? Kasi yung, yung, yung contour, it's, um, hindi siya very muddy. Pwede tong pang morena, pwede din na pang fair skin. And then, med, itong, um, blush, medyo maganda rin siya. Parang, um, alam niyo ba yung sa Stardust? I mean, star, ano yun? Yung sa blush on ng, oil-free blush on ng Kirlen. Halos kakulay niya din ito. And then, this one, we'll see if pigmented din ba to, katulad ng highlighter na nasa plate to palette. So, let's proceed to the swatches. Hindi drying yung ano niya, ngunit, subalit, sobrang powdery nung ano, medyo powdery yung, yung formula niya. Ito yung contour. Kung mapapansin mo dyan sa swatch mismo, para siyang patchy. Ayan o. Medyo patchy siya. So, this one, let's proceed to the blush. O, oh, diba? Ganda ng blush on niya. And then, the highlighter. Yung highlighter, medyo powdery din for me. Yung formula. So, there. It's not that blinding. Pero may pagka-champagne din siya. Okay. E? Ayan. Medyo powdery siya. So, don't forget to top off the excess. Kapag ka magagamitin nyo na siya. sa nose. Tignan mo. Ganun din. Kahit na even out ko siya, hindi talaga siya. Medyo nag even out. And then, so that's for the contour. So, let's proceed on the blush on. 
be putting some powder blush on, the, on top of it. So there. Yung blush, it's not that powdery. Hindi siya ganun ka powdery unlike the contour. Itong contour, sobrang powdery niya. But the blush, not really. Hindi gaano. So, okay. So here's the blush on nung Glow Getter. Well, for me, the formula is nice. Um, blendable siya, very blendable. And hindi niya na emphasize yung pores ng face ko. And yan, yung color niya, it's very fresh. Ako talaga, personally, um, gusto ko yung makapal na blush on para pang matagalan na siya. So, that, there you go. Here's how it looks like on the skin. Pag in apply siya. And then, let's proceed on the highlighter. So, for the highlighter, we will be using this one. Dito sa kabila kong um, face. And then, yung dream highlighter dito naman sa kabila. Okay? So let's start first with the Diamond Dream Highlighter. So I'll just get a few. This one, it's not powdery. So let's itap off lang natin yung excess. Hmm. But parang wala. Wait lang. Ulitin natin. So, ayan siya. <laughs> hindi ko bet. I mean, for me, ah, hindi ko gusto yung color niya. I mean, I've used um, a couple of highlighters, but hindi ko to gusto. Tignan mo, ganyan lang siya. Para siyang chalky. So, let's use it to keep it bow. So, here's how the Caroline Diamond Dream Highlighter looks like on my cheekbone. So, for me, hindi siya gano pigmented like what I expected from a Caroline highlighter. Kasi yung sa Plitas Clay Palette talaga, blinding talaga akong blinding, shimmery talaga akong shimmery. But then this one, I'm not satisfied with the color payoff on my face. So, let's try these, uh, let's try the highlighter from the Glow Getter Palette. So, ito siya. Yung formula niya, in fairness, hindi talaga siya powdery at all. So, let's see the performance. Ooh! Yan ang blinding, friend! Mm. Nice! Yan ang highlighter na hinahanap ko rin. Pag ganyan pa lang, pa! <laughs> Pero yun, I mean, yan ang highlighter compared compared to this one. It's not really pigmented. But this one, it's very nice. Look at that. And this one, compare. So, I'll be using this in my bridge. So, then, sa nose. Bridge sa nose.
Ayan na po ang mga bagong Caroline products na nasa face ko for today. So, let's proceed on. I'll be giving you my final thoughts on each product. So, let's start first with the Caroline Multipot. So, this one. With the shade range of this um, Caroline Multipots, pwede na siya. It caters to fair skin, morena, and even those um, ladies out there na may dark, complex uh, dark complexion, pwede, pwede, pwede siya. And then, when it comes to the formula, it's very creamy, very blendable, and very buildable as well. So, hindi siya nag, nag tickling sa... I mean, hindi niya na-emphasize yung pores dito sa my face ko. And then, hindi rin siya kapag ka apply mo siya sa lips, hindi din siya, yun totoo, yung buho ko, hindi din siya dry sa lips. Ayan. Hindi siya drying at all. For this one, the Caroline Multipot, for 165 pesos, it's very, um, it's a very good buy na siya. Very maganda na siyang product. Because for its price, very budgetar budgetarian. So, Tsaka madami na din siya para sa price niya. So, maganda na tong product na to. And I would recommend it to you guys using it or buying this one. So, let's proceed on the Caroline uh, Diamond Dream Highlighter. So, for this one, this is uh, this costs 135 pesos. And for me, hindi ko siya masyadong gusto. Well, the packaging it itself, maganda siya. But for um, yung formula niya, nung sinaswatch ko, it's very buttery sa, sa, pan, sa pan nung sinaswatch ko. Pero, nung in-apply ko na siya dito nga sa, ano ko, sa cheekbone ko, if you see, medyo chalky siya. Parang chalky siya tignan. And it's not uh, pigmented at all. I mean, hindi ganun kaganda yung pigmentation niya when applied on the cheeks. So, yung color payoff niya, hindi masyadong, um, hindi ko masyadong bet. So, ayan siya. Parang wala naman siya gaanong kinang. Parang yung powder lang yung na-apply sa cheeks ko. And, so, for me, um, hindi ko to gaanong ma-i-recommend. Kasi, napansin ko din, nung sinaswatch ko siya, medyo parang, alam mo yung, Ayan, hindi ko sure kung makikita nyo siya dyan. Pero, alam mo yung kintab niya, parang nasa taas lang. And then, underneath the kintab, para siyang, basta hindi medyo maganda, ay hindi ganun kaganda yung formula ng product na to. So, for me, this one is a no-no. I'm sorry, pero I, I just want to be honest. I just want to be honest. If I'll be recommending a product to my uh, to my viewers, to my subscriber, to my subscribers, gusto ko talaga ibigay yung honest thoughts ko about this. And this one is a no-no for me. 135 mo itago mo na lang besi and magabang tayo na ibang product na ilalabas ng other local brands na worth worth it na worthy ng money mo na 135. Okay? So I mean nagiging <laughs> nagpapakatotoo lang po ako ayoko lang talaga nang nagre-recommend ng nagre-recommend na hindi naman talaga nagwo-work for me. Well for me, no no siya. Hindi siya nag-work pero kung sa inyo kung gusto niyo pa ding i-try and kung gusto niyo pa ding bilihin dahil kung sa tingin niyo nagwo-work sa inyo, then go ahead. It's your money. So wala akong um wala akong power over that, I guess. So that's all for the um, Caroline Diamond Dream Highlighter. Now let's proceed to this um, Caroline Glow Getter Contour Blush and Highlighter Highlighter Trio. So for this one, the packaging looks very um, looks very simple, very basic, very minimalist. And then when it comes to the products, yung Tulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, yung contour, it's very proud, powdery, but the um, blush, powdery naman siya, pero hindi gaano. And then yung highlighter niya, sa akin na, sa pagkaka-swatch ko, tsaka yung pagkaka-brush ko kanina, nung highlighter brush, hindi siya powdery. Wala akong powder na nakita. So, for 
the performance ng contour, kung makikita mo, medyo patchy siya. Ayan. Ayan, no? Medyo patchy siya nung in-apply ko. Tsaka nung sinwatch ko, di ba? Medyo patchy din siya. So, hindi ko gaano gusto yung formula neto. And, though maganda yung color niya, pero siguro, kailangan lang ng, kailangan, pag ito yung ginamit mo, kailangan konti-konti lang. Kasi, build up, I'm sorry, kasi buildable naman siya. So, kailangan you start with um, konti lang and then you, you build it along the way. So, for the blush on naman, I, I like it so much kasi it gives you fresh, a very, very fresh um, makeup look or a very fresh outcome. And then, the, um, like I've said, the formula is nice as well, not that powdery at all. Ang price nito, I guess it's 235 or 275. I already forgot, but um, I'll be link, I'll be providing all the links down below. Ng Lazada na link nila, kasi sa Lazada ko nga lang din to in order lahat. And then let's proceed on the highlighter. So yung sa highlighter niya na part is I like it. It's blinding as you can see. There you go. Yan yung inapply ko dito and then sa nose bridge ko. Uh, diba? So, yan. Maganda na siya. I like the, the formula. Para siya, ano, may pagka go. Uh, medyo siya, hindi siya champagne color eh. Para siyang may pagka brown, may pagka gold, parang ganon. But then again, I, I like it so much. So, for this one, medyo 50-50 ako dito kasi yung powder lang naman, ay yung blush lang, tsaka yung highlighter yung gusto ko dito. Yung contour, not really. Pero, again, nasa sa inyo na yan. Kung gusto nyo pa din bumili, I'm just here to give my thoughts about it or to share my impressions on this product para, again, ma-assess nyo if your money is worth buying this. Okay? So, that's all for our video sa araw na to. And I really hope na meron kayong nakuha somehow sa ating another review. If I'm not mistaken, ito yung second review ko on a makeup product. And I really hope na meron kayong natutunan sa review na ginawa natin for today. Well, that's basically it. Bye-bye!